Whoopsie dipsy. Ah, jeez. Okay, sorry about that. I made the music a bit too loud. So anyways, hey guys, welcome back to another Pokemon video. Yeah, I know, everyone's going to get mad at me. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm back with another Pokemon Sun and Moon video. Today I'm going to freaking read a fanfiction. And I'm going to rage a lot because this fanfiction is stupid. It's very out of character for probably one of my favorite characters in Pokemon Sun and Moon, <coughs> Gladian. <clears throat> and it basically just tears my mind apart about how to character and just very poorly well written and oh god dang. And there's so much complaining that I'm going to do, so let's just get on with it, shall we? You and Linton were playing. I can't read. You and Linton were playing outside with the purple ball. Good job, Shadow. Now get. Now hit it back. Haha, <laughs> I get it because Linton looks like a goddamn Shadow the Hedgehog. You said, Linton hit the ball, but before you could catch it, a strange-looking Pokemon you never seen before, look, took it. Type null, so volley, no, no, no. Um, it's either type. It's probably type null. Hey, give that back! You yelled. It was your lucky ball. There's, there's no god dang freaking capitalization! You ran after it into the forest. You were running so fast after it. Then you ran into someone. It was wearing black clothes, had blonde hair and green eyes. Not very descriptive, I see. Ow! S sorry about that, you apologize. You tried to walk away from him, but his arms... But he wrap... Fuck. But he wraps his arms around you. Tight. <clears throat> Once again, hello, out of character, Gladian. No need to apologize, my dear. Well, that, I don't know, but holy crap, that's not, that reminded me of a cartoon character. <clears throat> Hold on a second. <clears throat> that was the wrong voice. Lucas, please do not interrupt my video. <laughs> okay. No need to apologize, my dear, he said. What? There's a shocked face in the story. Wow, great. What in the world? This guy is crazy! You tried to get out of it. You tried to get out of his grasp, but he's he's a lot stronger than you. Which is kind of funny because like I think I think he and me actually has the same arm uh arm arm width, I should say. Like, he's very scary. He's like very underweight. Like me. <clears throat> Anyways. You then notice the strange Pokemon by his side. Shadow, help me! Someone help! You put his hand over your mouth. Don't worry, my love. I won't ever hurt you. He said. You try kicking and biting him, but he still did think it doesn't let go. You start to cry uncontrollably. Shh, don't cry. We'll be together very soon. I'm not going to say the your name part. He said. How does he know my name? I don't know. You thought, well, go hypno- he doesn't have a hypno in his party. <laughs> he doesn't have a hypno in his party. Uh, for a second, I thought it was like I read it wrong, and I thought it was Faba, but no, it's Gladian. <laughs> he doesn't have a hypno in his team. What the frick is wrong with you? Why? He yelled. He he started feeling really sleepy after the hypnosis attack. Well, of course, it's called hypnosis. You're mine. Forever, he yelled before you blacked out. I don't like this story. <laughs> you woke up in a dark room, chained to a bed. Help, you yelled. Shh, I'm going to wake Guzma. You don't want me to punish you, do you? He asked with a smile. But, no, who, who are you? You asked nervously. Good, and I'm Gladian. Gladian introduced himself, which is kind of strange. Um, <clears throat> why would he introduce Oh, right. I'll explain what I mean about all oh, right later. <sighs> well, what do you want with me? You couldn't help but let tears fall down your cheeks. With you? Who well, I love, of course. Of course. Out of character moment. Yay. I've been watching you for seven years. Seven years? Wait, hold on a second. He's around middle school age, so he's probably around 16 to 14. So, seven years meaning that they met first when he's seven. Okay. 
I know everything about you. Your favorite color, music, food, hobbies, Pokemon, video games, and sports. Everything. Everything. <coughs> My voice. You're really scared now. Of course. Why wouldn't I? There's a god dang yonder right here. But how do you know so much about me? I never even met you before. You asked him curiously. Don't you remember? I was at your ninth birthday party. I guess you didn't notice. I was in the corner of the room watching you happily open gifts. I realized <laughs> I'd fallen in love. But you! You like that green-haired guy. You asked him to be your boyfriend. He said yes. I was heartbroken, so I watch you every day. Without you or him noticing, that's when I knew you had to be mine and mine alone. He finished. <clears throat> I really like voice acting, especially for like crazy people, but this is not this is very out of character for me. Well, slightly. Actually, very out of character. <laughs> Okay, another out of character moment for a second. Hold on a second, let me read this. Mm. You were shocked. I don't love you and never will! Someone help! <coughs> Ow, my hand. You were punched in the stomach. Shut up! You will love me, even if I have to force you. You don't want to hurt. You don't want me to hurt you, Linton. Now do you? He threatened you. No, don't hurt him! He cried. Buddy walks over to the bed by a door and picks up an uncon un unconscious Litten. Where'd you get that Litten in the first place? Uh, he takes out a knife and slowly pu puts it by Litten's neck. Say, you love me, or else Litten dies. Buddy was slowly pushing the neck and it's... I'm sorry, I'm mixing up my words like I always do. Buddy was slowly pushing the knife in its neck. Oh god, oh god, I... I hate this. <laughs> I hate this story. Oh God. Okay, I'm going to put it, put this sarcastically because I don't. I really, re for some reason, like. I don't like voicing damsel in distress characters. It's just very cringy for me. Oh God. I I love you. Please don't hurt him. You were crying again. Good girl. Now why don't we kiss? Already? Jesus. Why don't we hug first? Jeez. He puts down Litten and the knife. He walks over to you and gets on top of you. And I'm gonna skip that dialogue because I'm going to cringe so much. Oh god. <laughs> it's so out of character! And I hate it! You struggle against the chains too. Ugh. Oh, hello. This is actually- I'm going to go on a tangent here for a second. Well, not like right now, but after this. Gladium forcibly kisses you, but you don't kiss back. And help me! You knew N couldn't hear you, but you just wanted to go home. Okay, now I will go on the tangent without getting copyrighted. So basically, when I was little, um, actually, when I was little, Pokemon Black and White were like my pride and joy, and I loved them. And my favorite character in this, uh, my one of my favorite characters in the game was N. Basically, it was my first video game crush before, um, before some video game crushes. <clears throat> so basically, it's kind of funny to actually see in in this story, um, because like this gives me back memories and like, <laughs> um, like my younger self really liked N, but like myself right now really likes Gladian, which is kind of funny because they're both redemption characters. And they're both from my favorite Pokemon games. It's really funny to see how N actually appears in the story. <clears throat> Anyways, continuing on. N? You mean that idiot that can talk to Pokemon? I know him. He stole you away from me! He yelled. Don't hurt him! You yelled. He yelled back. <laughs> oh, I'll do much more than hurt him. I'll kill him. <clears throat> Edge Lord mode activated. <laughs> Gladian shouted. He gets off of you and runs out the door. No! He cried. Insert Gladian's point of view. Also, there's a god dang giant party outside, and I'm going to take a sip of my god dang sprite. 
<laughs> and apparently, suddenly, in freaking pops out of nowhere, I don't know why and how and... Weren't you back in Unova, mate? <laughs> Nah, I'll show that freaking nature not to take what's mine. I walked up to I walk up to his house and look in his window. Excuse me? <laughs> he he's in a god dang gigantic castle. <laughs> oh man, you have not played the Pokemon games, have you? No, get that freak of nature out of here, I shouted. It broke through the window and roughly grabbed in. Good job, no. Now, and why did you take my girl? I yelled angrily at him. I oh, I don't know what to give I don't know what voice to give in. Oh <laughs> Oh, I don't know what voice to give in. Hold on a second. Hey, I thought of a voice for him. It's like slightly British. <laughs> I don't know. I give since Pokemon Black and White were like sort of in a medieval setting, I guess it would like <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Please let me go. He, he cried. I take out a knife and show it to him. She's mine now. My sweet. <clears throat> I daydream. His eyes go wide and he starts to panic. No, don't touch her. He gets up and starts and starts and starts trying to punch me. I grab his fist and bend it. Isn't isn't like isn't N around like twenty or something? He should be like very tall. <laughs> It's too late. She's already mine. <laughs> I can't do a good evil laugh when I'm in this setting and I'm out of breath and reading dialogue. I laugh. I stab him in the stomach and, s and watch him slowly fall to the ground. She, she will <laughs> never love you. That's this lad's words. I get, I get super angry and stab him even more, like 38 times in the pancreas. Anyone get that reference? Please comment down in the video. She will love me. Even if I have to force her, I scream. Oh wait, that wasn't a scream. I'll do it later. <laughs> I try to calm down and look at the mess I've made. Great, I have to clean this up before getting before anyone sees. I'll read the comments in the next video. Now, PO, POB point of view, whatever. After Gladian finished cleaning up his mess, he walked back to, back to base. You mean Aether Paradise? There's a baby screaming outside. There's always a baby screaming outside. He walked into his room and saw you still chained to the bed. Wait, was I in a bed or... Wait, was the reader in the bed or was the reader in a, in a chair? I always thought the reader was in a chair. Oopsie oopsie. <laughs> um, <clears throat> uh, okay, hold on a second. Okay, I'm back. I just needed to search up something. <clears throat> he walked in... Oh, wait, I already read that. You saw he was covered in blood. Wait, you didn't freaking clean up after yourself? Jesus. And saw you... Wait. I'm making- I'm mixing up my freaking story. And knew he would- he did what he said he was going to do. He immediately started crying. It had to be done! He was in the way of our love! Gladian shouted. This is so out of character and I was just- ah! And the worst part is- The worst part is- You know what? I'll save it for later. I don't love you! I hate you! He screamed. Gladian's hand starts to twitch. His left hand. <laughs> and he calmly walks over to your lip and... I will break his neck. I will do it. You have five seconds to apologize. Or else. Five, four, three, two, one. He cut him off. I'm sorry. I love you. Okay. One thing that I have to complain about this is that... I'm sorry, but the reader is way too gullible. Like, the reader is... So gullible. So, nah! <sighs> okay, you know what? Let's just continue. He yelled, scared. Good girl. But I think you need a punishment. <laughs> Let's see. How about we cuddle? That's called punishment. <laughs> Gladian puts down your puts down your litten and walks over to you. Well, I guess you wouldn't want to write smut or whatever it's called. Fifty Shades of Grey, whatever it's called. I don't care. But you have to promise to be a good girl, and not to run away or hurt me. Gladian warns you. You nod your head yes, of course. What? What, you think a nod is no? <laughs> he takes out a key and unlocks the chains on your wrists and ankles. He lays on the bed and puts his arms around you. 
so beautiful, you know that? He questions. He falls asleep. I'll still cut when you. Next cringy part, yay! Hold on a second. While Gladi and the sleeping youth decide to plan to escape. Hold on a second. Um, can you guys hear my voice? I don't know. I can't check. I don't know. Okay. While Gladi and the sleeping- Wait, I already read that. <laughs> hmm. Maybe if Shadow wakes up, then I can get out of here. But he's probably too weak to fight. Ugh, what do I do? You ask yourself. You try to free- Wait. You try to get free out of Gladian's arms, but he has- Yeah, he has them too tight around you. What the heck? How strong is this guy? Strong as a Mary Sue. <laughs> or Yandere with willpower. Determinate- Okay, sorry. <laughs> I seriously need to- I seriously need to work out more. Unamused face. You think- You look around the room to- to try and look- Nah, to try and find something you can use to escape. Maybe that knife over there. You saw a knife by the door, but Gladian's type null is sleeping by it. Suddenly, wait. How do you- how does the reader finally know what a type null is? Did it- was, was it explained previously in the story? I can't remember. Suddenly, Shadow wakes up and sees you on the bed with Gladian. Shadow, I need you to grab that knife over there and bring it to me, you whisper. Shadow's, Shadow slowly walks over to the knife and picks it up with his teeth. He slowly walks to the bed and jumps on it and drops the knife in your hand. I'm gonna have to run fast because he'll come after me, you thought. You tighten the hold on the knife and stab Gladium right in the stomach. Jesus! Oh well, there's no gore, so it's not interesting. <laughs> what the? What did you do? He yells, but you're already running with Shadow to the door. N no! Stop them! He yells. Typhnol wakes up and starts attacking him with a iron head head attack. Um, but before it hits you, Shadow jumps in and takes the hit. What a brave and noble uh, gesture. While Gladion's cleaning himself, you, you decide to, yeah, to yeah, yeah, let Shadow battle Type Null while you escape. I'm sorry, Shadow! You cry. You run out the door and through the halls. You run downstairs to the exit door. Yes! I'm free! But, Shadow, he thinks sadly. You continue, you continue running through the town without looking or, uh, uh, without stopping or looking back. You have tears, you have tears in your brown eyes, and your clothes are a mess. It won't be long before he comes, yeah, before he comes after me. I have to wait. Author's note, sorry for the long way, I'm running out of ideas for the story. I also want to wait for the games to come out. I need to know how Gladian acts and talks. See? This is, this is another thing. This is a huge thing. This is a, this is a huge thing that I hate about the story. Ugh. Ah. 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 You don't just write a guy dang story before the original content gets out. Like, that's not what you do. Like, it, it'd be okay for you to, like, make headcanons and theories, but just, like, a full-on story, like a fanfic, Without even having- without even having the actual game come into play yet? It's kind of stupid. And I really hate that the reader decided to make the story before the game even came out. No wonder why the character was so out of character. The game never came out. I hate this story so freaking much. You don't just do that! <laughs> Anyways, I yell at Null to stop them. Uh, by the way, this is Gladian's point of view. While I clean the messy mess my little partner made, I should say, because I'm not going to say my name, I go to my closet and grab a new black shirt and sweater. I then go to the bathroom, grab a white towel, and clean myself. I underestimated her. <laughs> <laughs> After I finished cleaning the blood, why did you randomly laugh? That's my question. Um, <clears throat> cleaning the blood and put on my new clothes. I walk out to see my partner gone. No, where did she go? I can't help but feel angry. It's something in its mouth. Her litton. Hmm. She wants to play hide and seek. 
Fine then. I guess I'm going to have, have to find you. I look at Noel and know this Litten is still alive. I take it out of Noel's mouth, it, and it looks and look at it, it and look at its injuries. It has multiple cuts on its neck and head, and bite marks on its n body and legs. Should I kill it or keep it alive? Hmm. Decisions, decisions. I smirk at the thoughts in my head. Ready or not, because here I come. I like yonder ace. I just don't like the story. Because this is a cliche yandere. And I don't like it. You have no idea where you are, but anywhere is better than with Gladian. You keep running until you ran into someone. Which is, it's kind of funny because like, normally an ex-reader like this would be like, oh, love related, but you're actually victimized. Like every single freaking yandere story! Okay, let's stop. Um, you keep running until you ran into someone. You were about to fall on, on the ground, but the stranger that you ran into caught you. Whoa, you okay? But the voice, by the way the sound, uh, by the way the voice sounded, you knew it belonged to a boy. Sorry. Yeah, I think so. Sorry for running into you like that. He quickly apologized and looked at him. It's okay, but where were you running from? The stranger asked you. Oh, um, there's so many M's. This crazy person, he c killed my boyfriend and has my litten. You explain. What? That's, ter that's horrible. Are you okay? Did he hurt you? Is your litten okay? Is he following you? Did you call the police? Did you- You cut him off. Slow down, I don't even know your name. He sighed. Oh, yeah, I'm Hal. Nice to meet you. He puts his hands, hands behind his head. You sweat drop as- as his chill attitude, at his chill attitude all of a sudden. So, what's yours and that creepy guy's name? I asked while smiling. How can he smile in a time like this? He thought to herself. I'm Nina. Hey. Hmm. And Gladian is the crazy guy, you say. To how he keeps smiling, but suddenly seems like he's seen a ghost. What? He's part of Team Skull! Wait, how the frick does Hal know who Gladian is? <laughs> well, forget about the ice. I don't say my name part because I accidentally said my name. Crap. <laughs> he's a part of po he yeah. He's a part of Team Skull. Yeah, the Aether Foundation. Um, he didn't say that, but I did that in. <laughs> and those guys steal people's Pokemon, not people. He yelled. You have heard of Team Skull before, but you didn't know that Gladian would be one of them. Do, do you think he? You can help me. He's probably looking for me right now. He asked nervously. Sure. Sure, you can count on me to help you. He smiled and started walking. He walked away for after him and I don't freaking care anymore about the story. Uh... Oh. I can actually read the comment. I actually want to read the story right now. I actually, yeah, I'm sorry. I actually want to read the comment, this comment. This story is amazing. I love it so much. Definitely deserves five stars. Now, Gladian, if you dare touch my ing how, if you dare ing murder how, starts to laugh insanely while pulling out a gun. What did I fall for again? <laughs> How can people say that this story is five stars? This story is out of ca the characters are out of character except for how this the reader is too much of a dare dare slash gullible character, and there's so many freaking stupid things that happen. Like, how the frick did Gladian get from Alola to all the way to Unova? to end's house, I mean, sorry, cat, uh, kingdom, I mean, oh, sorry, house. There's so many plot holes! What the frick is up with this story? <laughs> you know what? How will we change this up a notch? 
next video is either going to be more Pokemon or Undertale related. I know I'm two years late of the Undertale train, but still, come on. It's still fresh. Speaking of fresh, more Splatoon! Okay, anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video with the Triforce Bit with you, and if you dare reach this cringe. If you want to read this cringe fest, I'll leave it in the description. Next video. I'm going to act. I don't. You know what? Next video, I'm going to read an actual good fanfiction that I really love. And that I really want the author to continue. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm going to try for a spirit with you, and uh. Bye bye.